Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. This is your host, Anon Jr., and I am pre-recording an episode. That's right. Even though you're seeing it live now on Christmas Eve, I went ahead and took care of this over over the weekend. Um, I wanted to make sure I had something up on the live stream, but um, I'm going to be traveling on the 24th, so... Um, this was the next best thing. It's going to be a short one by necessity. Restream will let me schedule future broadcasts. And because I am on the cheapskate tier, also known as the free tier, um, I can only uh, I, I can only upload a half hour pre-recorded episode. So I'm going to keep a close watch on the little timer over on my right there to make sure that I stay well within the time limit. And I just got a small project I want to do for today's little Christmas Eve pre-recorded deal. Uh, matter of fact, I, I really ought to figure out. I, I probably won't be able to in time to get this up and ready to run. Um, but at some point, I'll have to figure out how to get a little marker somewhere on here that says pre-recorded. Pre-recorded. All right. <clears throat> so... As you can see, Rayest went crazy with the lighting, and so we've got lanterns all over the roadways. And it's a very nice, very nice lamp. And we worked on that last week a lot, trying to put that together, get a nice little lamp design going. And it really does fit the village. You know, it has the dark oak tones that we used and all the wood in our build palette. The red brick as a base looks really good, especially given the... The, the red brick foundations that we have and there's a couple of lighting fixtures to um, to be both decorative and practical because we had a we had a couple of unique issues with weird spots that were uh, well how should we say it poorly lit also during the weekend earlier before getting ready for this I went and I put a little bit of lighting up here in the corner of the church because uh, as I was going through making sure that there were no uh, non spawnable spots or checking the lighting for spawn levels and all that. There were a couple of corners down the edge of the hallway here that the the light was just low enough to to cause stuff to spawn inside the church. And we can't have that. So throwing those end rods up there in the corner uh, fits in enough that I, I don't think you'd notice it if I didn't point out that they were there. They, they do look about right for the rest of the build, and they solve that lighting problem there. Because I, I started thinking about, well, you know, may, maybe I could maybe I could throw down some blue carpet or something, and everything just didn't it didn't fit right. So took care of that. Went all over this place. I, I'm sure. Hey Bob, I'm sure somewhere around here there might be that one spot that I missed, but it's not for lack of trying. Uh, everything does seem to be, be uh, as lit as it can be. Yeah, I roughed up the dock a little bit so it'd have a little different texture to it. Um, yeah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> I, I ended up putting a couple of gates at the end because there was more than a couple of times that I, I found I needed to either enter or exit the dock. And I want to make sure it's something that the villagers won't do, but that we can do if we need to. So we got a couple of gates. Um, I know there was that guy at the end. Oh, oh, that's right, over here by the sandy beach. And we put some fences because villagers be idiots. And uh, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that none of them ran off into the water for some strange reason or drowned, didn't crawl up out of the water and kill them, that kind of deal. Uh, matter of fact, now that we got the fence there, I might go ahead and tear up these lanterns right at the edge because it looks really weird to have that grass leaf in the sand. Um, and then just put a, uh, a lantern on top of the post. But, I don't know, that might be something we do down the line. Right now, the important part is uh, the villagers... I'm going to say the villagers can't jump out into the water, but this is kind of like saying a toddler can't reach that on the counter. And then you turn your back for two seconds. The next thing you know, they're standing there on top of the fence. And uh, and then you're like, you know, no, don't, don't do it. Um, yeah. I have a funny feeling that there's going to be a few of those moments as we go along too. And there's one other thing. And then eventually we're going to have to start cleaning up all our uh, construction construction boxes. Boxing. 
Oh, that's right. Reyes got a lot more done on the stables here. We got a little storage area off in the side. Some of the boxes already got moved over in here just to get them out of the way. Uh, no decorations in the floor plan yet, but we made sure that there's enough lighting up there that uh, nothing's going to spawn. And it doesn't directly connect to the other side. I do like the the, the design using the, um, the campfires, the extinguished campfires as a little bit of a textured design. I'm not, I'm not usually a fan of using uh, using things just for their look, but that does, that works out very nice. And same in here. We got the lightings. We had to drop, drop the lanterns down just a little bit because when they were stuck up to the ceiling, there would be like one spot right in a corner here and one spot right in a corner here. And, and just lowering the lamps down one block took care of all that. And it's still not enough that it's going to get in your way. And it looks fitting, too. We also had to put in a couple of little desks on either side with a lantern on them to solve the last little... You know, nooks and crannies of darkness throw a couple extra lanterns at the problem too but uh, all the buildings all the areas are now spawn safe or at least as spawn safe as I can make them because uh, I did load up the lighting texture pack to double check look for little pink spots here and there make sure that there's nothing with a light level low enough that it could spawn or if there was that it was on a non-spawnable surface like a, uh, a bottom slab or a stair or something like that so I ended up putting a couple of lanterns in here, even though I know that we're eventually going to tear them up as this road gets extended out. Um, that kind of thing. Ooh, that's right. And this guy got finished too. If you remember last week, this was one of the buildings that Rast was working on for the Fletcher and the Shepherd. They share a little shop. You can tell it's a Rast build by the... Uh, by the lighting. I give her a hard time, but I'm just as bad about it, so, you know. And there's a couple others that Rast wants to do before we call the season to a close. We might work on that uh, next week. Well, not next week from the time that uh, we're, that this airs, I should say. Oh, come on. You gonna go to your bed, or you... What, you going for the evening mass? Changing your mind? No, nope. looks like he's headed out for evening mess. Okay, we'll take a nap. <laughs> okay, I only got 30 minutes and I just wasted ten, a few. I wasted too much time picking on that guy there. All right, so anyway, we've got everything enclosed. It is in what should be a villager safe playpen. So the time has come to start turning these guys loose. Let's pull those off the door there. Let's look at the cute Jubba picture there. And let's pull those off of there. And that should about do that part of it. All right. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's right. Where did I put the... Uh... Oh, there's the boxes I need. I'm going to start moving these guys out one by one. I'm going to move their profession block and then set them free. And it looks like this guy's uh, composter is already, already gone. So let's go F3 and B so we can see our hit boxes. Oh, let's get the key on the, the hands on the keyboard, right? And bam, be free. Oh, that's right, because of the carpet. <laughs> you, you, you think this is not a uh, not a walkable surface. I probably should have handled that first. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, there you go. You figured it out. Good on you. Good on you. Why do I feel like I'm missing more boxes than I realize? Um, Alright, well, you're free and you're out and about and wandering, so... I thought... Oh. I thought 
thought I had left more than that. All right, let me go see if I can hunt down some uh, some dark oak real quick. If I can get the floor squared away. I don't want to leave any big holes in that. I got to tear up all that carpet before I get go too much further. All right. Oh, there we go. We got some planks here. There, guys. What? You just gonna wander out and around the house? Or is this another one of those pat weird pathfinding things? Bam. Now the nice thing is that did at least help me uh, confirm or the next villager thing how best to uh, keep the villagers from pathfinding to a place that they shouldn't be. So the next time we do a villager trading hall, I can make sure to put that in front of each of the double carpet there, in front of each of the booths, and that way they shouldn't try to pick up their neighbor's workstation. You know, I might throw a carpet around there eventually. there, buddy. Don't mind me. I'm careful with the axe. Don't look at me like that. Alright, let's get those out. And we'll get this last bit of carpet squared away. I might put some carpet down the hall anyway. Um, I gotta double check the lighting in here. I, okay, I gotta triple check the lighting in here because I'm like 98% sure that everything's as good as it's going to be. All right, so we'll get that out, out of the way. And there we go. He found his workstation. So we got our two little farmers doing their thing. they are going about their business with the composters. Now we just got to do something about the next guy. Where do we want to put our cleric? Uh, our cleric should almost certainly be somewhere at the church. So let's move his workstation over into the church somewhere. I know we want a lectern up in the front, which is nice, except it's going to attract a librarian. So... Um... Let's put this, let's put this in, it's under the blue carpet here. Sea Lantern. Let's try that. And if nothing else, we can put the blue carpet down and move that somewhere else. So that will make sure that the cleric stays over here. He's probably going to spend a lot of time hanging out over here in the bell tower. Which, you know, is oddly fitting somehow. I wonder what, where these guys are going to pick for beds, too. Because so far, um, our farmer number one there seems to have attached himself to the bed that we're using as a couch in the library. <laughs> uh, why, I don't know. Why that tickles me so, I also don't know. There we go. Be free. Actually... Be over at your station. Time to get to work. Quit lounging about. Why are you staring at me, man? Dude. Come on. Get. You got work to do. <laughs> We're serious, man. Come on, dude. Come on. You can go now. You're free to go about your business. Are you, are you seriously going to stand there? Come on, you lazy, stupid village. All right. Uh, do we already have a smoker out and about before I let you loose? 
something that you can hone in on. All right, good. So I'll pick up the smoker and just drop it in that box. He should pick up on that one out there. And then when the bill, when the villa, when blah, 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 blah. sorry, probably shouldn't have had that additive in my tea. Um, and when the building gets built for that profession, which I believe Rast wants to do next week, and if not next week, um, between now and the next go round. Right. Go on. Do something useful. You got a workstation right out there, man. Are you seriously also going to wander the house in the most useless fashion? So you are a founding villager. Useless in every way. Where did they go? Oh, seriously. So you're just gonna... You're just gonna stand there and stare at the people still in the carts like... We're free and you're not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. I think we've already got a blast furnace down in Arcadius's build. I just hope it's not too far away from him to, uh, to realize that it's there. I didn't even think about that when we were building the village size. Might have to cart some of these guys closer. Although it means they may not have a bed, so we may have to put a couple of sleeping couches here and there. But um, we'll turn them loose and see how he goes. I kind of wish there was a data pack that would tell you if they're uh, gainfully employed or not. Alright, let's drop that in there. Let's get the hitboxes back up. Yeah, I kind of wish y'all wouldn't just... Oh no, dude. Do not run in front of the man with the axe. That's how we get a dolphin's head on the dock. Okay, maybe it was also moving stuff on me. And I was slightly irked. <laughs> Guys. Seriously. Could you, you know, I don't know, demonstrate your gainful employment? Don't make me bust out a boat and drag you out to your workstations. All right. And I forgot to check while I was there. Is there a grindstone? Pretty sure there was. Yes, there is. Okay. And what we have here is a failure to launch. Oh, that's right. These guys aren't going to go looking for a workstation because it was outside of their working hours. Because they're a union or something. <laughs> no, that's not the way up. Alright, let's grab one of these beds here. Good, hasn't been cleaned yet. All right, let's get about the business of getting these guys on their way. So we know that there's already a grindstone out there with your name on it. Put that away. Let's bust that open. Get rid of that. Let's pick that. Y'all can go do something now. You know that, right? All right, we need a barrel somewhere. I think, no, we don't have a barrel out yet. I know Rast had a couple that was sitting around here somewhere, waiting to be used. All right. I'm going to go move your barrel over by the docks real quick. I see Reyes is harassing Arcadius. 
or at least the villager with Rayest's head is harassing the villager with Arcadius's head. Seems somehow appropriate. Alright, so let's get the barrel over. I want it by the dock, but I don't necessarily want it like all the way down at the end of the dock. So let's go ahead and drop that joker right there. That should be close enough for the villager to find without being so far away that it's, you know, useless. Alright. I don't like the way the fence attaches to it, though. But there's no help in that. We, we might work on some of the fine-tuning later. Like, seriously, y'all better get about your business. Go on. Seriously? Can't a one of you go do something productive? Alright, last one. And I think there was a girl, a um, stone cutter in that building over by Arcadius's, but I think that's going to be another one that, uh, nope. Yeah. There should be one in that building I built. Yes. But again, I wonder if it isn't so far away that these guys can't detect that it's there. I forgot to look up uh, what the workstation detection range is. So I might have to boat some of these guys over near, near a workstation. So they actually know that there's something there. So let me pick that up there. Drop it in here. Ooh, yeah, before I forget. I think there was another one floating around here somewhere, no? Maybe we cleaned it up? We must have cleaned it up. Alright, none of this hot mess out here is a workstation. Hey, somebody managed to wander out and about. Oh, good. That's it. Keep going. Find your workstation. Oh, other people are leaving. That's it, sleepyheads. Time to go out and do something useful. It's what we kept you alive for. Alright. You four. Could you kindly go do something? time to start boating some people over near their uh, workstations. Do we have any boats nearby? No. Alright, let's uh... Let's go ahead and make a quick oak boat. Let's make our oak arc and uh, get these guys a moving somewhere. But first... Put some stuff away before I forget why I got it in my inventory. Put that away, put that away. That's a, that's a lot of light gray. Alright. And... Ooh, wow, 23 minutes in. Yikes. That goes quick. Alright guys, let's get you somewhere where you're actually going to be useful, huh? fish guy, right? Come on. Well, that was... There we go. Alright, let's get you out by the dock. Am I seriously caught on a carpet? I am seriously caught on a carpet. I'll fix that later, Rest, I promise. These villagers are going to be the end of me. Okay. Alright. Come on. Down. 
down to the water we go. You can actually work now. <laughs> Those two guys got it. They're working. All right, I just got to run around with an axe, get to everybody to hustle a little bit more. All right, you, Mr. Stonecutter. Come on. Get in the boat. <laughs> I just realized. There we go. Which one's which? Same goofy beard. All right. Enough playing around. I only got a couple more minutes left on the video. Oh, uh, shoot. I may have to go ahead and call it closed. Because <laughs> we're 26 minutes into a 30 minute broadcast. I got a hard out at 30. And I'm going to have to. Oh. Oh, they're making villagers. I guess we shouldn't look. That's kind of rude, isn't it? <laughs> but that is the idea. We're, we're trying to get these guys out into the village now so that we can start getting it populated. Hence the, you know, be fruitful bit on the title card. So we're trying to get these guys out to their workstations, out and about. The end goal is to have at least one villager of every type. Um more if we can help it because we're trying to get this village to have a sense of population all right you are probably close enough now they keep promising that they've fixed that problem with boats Come on. dude your workstation is right there right there or are you being as stubborn as I am hi Actually, do I need to buy anything from you? Sure. There we go. Now you gotta go find a workstation. No? Alright. I'll leave you there and hope you find your way. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So... I guess that's what I'm going to spend the next little while doing is getting these last guys out to uh, somewhere close to where their workstation is. It, oh, now they buggered off. Oh, they're seriously making this as hard as they can, aren't they? Ew. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and spend... Oh, let me get the... Uh, Hitboxes off on that. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these guys somewhere close to their uh, workstation. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, end credit screen, even though I don't have any, uh, even though this is not a live live stream. This is a pre-recorded live stream. I hope you enjoyed this little vignette as we get our village ready to be wrapped up. And uh, so we are traveling this holiday. Hence the abbreviated live stream, uh, courtesy of Restream.io. And next Tuesday, uh, New Year's, well, next Tuesday as the Sayers, New Year's Eve, we will be doing a Season Zero wrap-up. Starting at our normal time, we're going to try to wrap up a little bit with Season Zero. And then New Year's Day, we haven't finalized a time yet, so check in on New Year's Eve. But New Year's Day, we're going to kick off Season 1 with our uh, newest member of the Coffee Craft server. So with all that said and done, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and all that good fun stuff. If you're on Twitch or Mixer, make sure you're following to get notified when I get live. If you miss something or want to join something, either direction, there are links in the descriptions from one to the other so you can enjoy as you go. And I'm going to try to cut it as close as I can and say thank you. Have fun. <laughs>